Mew! Hello everybody! Today's video was brought to you in part by the generous patrons of Mew Teen. If you're interested in seeing extra content, please consider joining my Patreon. Today's video is an Ask Red Vinyl Kitty. It was sent in by Little Kitty Lollipop, and I'm going to read it to you right now. Just the question, not like the whole email, just the question. Alright, the question is, can you do a video that is on loving yourself despite having a chronic illness? So, we are going to talk about that now. So, I think this is an important question. I think it's a good question. And I think it's one of those things that it's really easy to beat yourself up if you have a chronic illness. Um, and I think it's also one of those things that it's not even always necessarily coming from you. I mean, it can be easy to get down on ourselves, but I think it's always, it's also really easy to get frustrated and have a hard time because of all the people around us and also because of you know, things that make it hard for us to get around. Like, I did a video um, one time me and my master were out on an anniversary outing and the place we were going, they said they could accommodate a wheelchair and they couldn't. And you know, things like that can really get to you because you start thinking things like, I'm the reason for why this anniversary outing was ruined because if I didn't have a wheelchair, we could have still gone. Now, obviously, that's not true. It is not your fault, but sometimes your your brain weasels. That's what Master Pravis says. He says they're brain weasels. Sometimes the brain weasels get a little rowdy and they tell you stupid things like this is all your fault because you're sick. If you weren't sick, then you would have had a fabulous time. But let me tell you something. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all, okay? And you are beautiful. You are wonderful. And your illness has no bearing on how beautiful or wonderful or perfect you are. And anybody who can't see that is ridiculous and doesn't deserve a place in your life. Now I know that for me, the hardest thing when I started getting really sick, like the hardest thing when I started getting really sick, was all of the people around me. And I, I don't know if that's what it was like for you, because everybody's experience with being sick and disabled, and I don't know if you're disabled, I know that I am, but it's different for everybody, and everybody's experience is so different, so it's so hard. But I know that the hardest thing for me was everybody else. Because as soon as you start getting sick, you start hearing all kinds of things like, well, if you have such and such illness, why can't you still do stuff? Because I know someone else with that illness, and that person can still do can still do stuff, or that person still works, or that person does this or that, but that person is not you. And every person's experience with an illness is different. You know, there are different degrees of illness, and I'm not saying that any are better than others. I'm just saying that some people's symptoms are harder to deal with than other people's symptoms, so you really just can't compare illnesses. So, it can be really hard when you start getting sick and all the people around you are saying these things to you because that can knock down your sense of self-worth. Especially if people who are supposed to be your friends are like, come on, buck up, you can walk up the stairs, and you're like, I will literally faint because of my heart condition if I try to do... Like, they don't want to understand. They don't try to understand. They don't care to understand. They just want you to buck up and be better. And when you're sick, it's not about bucking up. Your body behaves a certain way, and that's just the way it is. You just are the way you are. And whoever you are is perfectly fine to be. Whoever you are is perfectly fine to be. You are fine as you are. And if anybody at all is bothering you about who you are, you just say goodbye. 
I don't need you in my life. Goodbye. See ya. Get out of here. Goodbye. It can be really hard to do that if you've known someone for a long time, but trust me, you do not need that kind of stress in your life. You are already sick, okay? So you don't need those people. Get rid of those people. The other thing that is really hard when you're sick and you're just trying to love yourself is you. Yes, you! You can be your own worst enemy. I know that when I first started getting sick, I would get so bummed. And sometimes I still get bummed, but I would get so bummed in the beginning because I would think, I can't do this anymore, and I can't do that anymore, and I really miss being able to do this, and I want to do that, and blah, blah, blah. And it's so frustrating because you miss being able to do all the things you could do before you were sick, but you can't do them. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't mourn that. That's fine. Your feelings are valid and you're always gonna have feelings and you just have to work through them and there's nothing wrong with needing to work through them. But one thing that has really helped me be able to feel better and not stress about things like, oh god, I really wish I could still do this, or I really miss doing that, is instead of focusing on the things that I can't do, you may have heard this a thousand times, I know, and it may sound really cliche, but I swear it helps me, is I focus on the things that I can do now. And that can be frustrating too, because there will be some days where you're like, I can't do anything. Some days, some days the only thing you can do is literally lay there, depending what's wrong with you. You never know what someone else's condition is, but what if you have a hideous migraine and you can't lift your head off the pillow? Or what if you just had surgery? Some days are not going to be slam dunk days. Some days just suck, and that, that's awful. But on your days that are really good, I bet there are some things that you can do that you enjoy, you know? Me and my master, Master Pravis, we used to love to go hiking, and we used to love to swim. I cannot swim now, and it's not that I don't want to swim. I would love to swim, but I can't get my port wet, and there is nothing that you can cover a port with. Trust me, we have looked into it. If you have a pick line, those are the ones that go into your arm. If you have a pick line, they have some things that can cover it, but there's nothing that's really good at covering a port. It's on this side. There's nothing that's really good at covering a port. Um, there's some things for the shower, but they leak almost all the time, so there's no way that I could, like, dive or jump or submerge myself. And if I sit around and I think about how much I miss swimming, then it's a huge bummer for me anyway. Now, that doesn't mean that Master Pravis doesn't get to swim. Sometimes Master Pravis will go swimming, and I'll go with him, and I'll watch him. And I'll bring a book. And I'll just, I'll read a book and I'll watch it. And it's like, it's not that I can't do anything. There's a lot of things I can do now. But I just have to change the way I do them. Like, I can accompany Master Pravis to go places. And I can read while he does them. And it's not like everything I do is just watching him. There are other things that I can do. Maybe I can't get totally submerged underwater. But... There are things you can do. And even if you can't do anything at all, even if there's nothing at all you can do, you are still beautiful, you are still perfect, and you are still worthy of love. And you just have to remember that. And anyone who tries to tell you otherwise, you just have to tell them they're wrong. Including if it's yourself. And there will be days when it's yourself going, oh god, I suck. But you don't suck. You're awesome. Everybody is disabled. Eventually. Everybody. Some of us just get sick or disabled a little sooner. 
You shouldn't be shamed or made to feel bad for something that you can't help. It's not your fault. You didn't cause it. And there's no reason why you shouldn't still love yourself. There will be days where you will be frustrated. There are days where I'm so mad because I can't get my feeding tube to run and I just want to leave the house or I just want to do whatever it is that we wanted to do. Or I'm just so mad that my disability is preventing me from doing whatever. You know, why won't my port work? Why do I have to go through surgery? Why whatever? But it doesn't matter why. And even though I or you have to go through any of that stuff, it doesn't make us less than. It doesn't make us less than. We are strong. We are powerful. And we ain't crying. I love you. <laughs> My chronically ill brethren. <laughs> but seriously, if you loved yourself before you were sick, being sick shouldn't change that. Because there's nothing about you that's wrong. Being disabled isn't wrong. Being sick isn't wrong. It's just an attribute like being blonde or wearing glasses or having cat ears. It's not wrong. It's just part of you. It's just another thing. <laughs> so I hope you're doing okay. And even if you don't love yourself, I do. But I'm sure you probably do. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.